And hey guys, welcome back to the next episode of my FIFA 20 Aston Villa career mode. Today we look uh, at the table real quick. We are currently 8th place, 8 behind uh, Chelsea and Liverpool in those Europa League and Champion League spots. Uh, so we have our work cut out for us as we only have 4 matches remaining. So that's going to be a struggle. Um... Uh, we gonna need Chelsea or Liverpool to falter here in these last few uh, matches, and we do play Chelsea uh, at Stamford Bridge before the end of the year. So that'll be a huge game that we need to win. Uh, so here's our pre-match press conference uh, before we take on Wolves, who are always a tough out for us. We always struggle, and. We are playing these games behind closed doors. No fans in the arena. Uh, we're going to finish these four games out with no fans uh, due to the coronavirus. Uh, so a little, a little extra from the realism mod there from FIFA. So the guys introduce those, themselves to the refs. And here's the lineups. We're going with the 4-4-1-1. Four, four, one, one. That we've been going with for a while and wolves go with the 5-3-2 uh pretty defensive um formation there for them so here we go so i'm probably going to try to hold on to the ball here uh more than usual than just kind of free flowing and there's a terrible pass already out to jimenez who is on a run and in the box shoots and Mueller bails out the defenders and bails out Sanchez for that horrible pass he made. So here's the corner. Kind of cleared out. Then we go, we get it to Traore. And then we fast forward to later on in the match. A nice pass out to Wesley in the box. Gets past his man, shoots, and nice save from the Wolves keeper. And keeps it nil-nil. Wesley kind of just shoots it straight at him. Uh, he had some interference, but keeper makes the save. Corner comes in from Bailey, and that's headed out to Harris. Well, pass to Harris, I'm sorry. And he shoots and scores, and that's the first goal of the game. 1-0 Aston Villa, 10 minutes in. Our wonder kid, uh, the 19-year-old, I believe he is, 19 or 20, continues to just dominate almost every game uh, he's in. McGinn gets the pass. A good first touch. Knocks it in 1-0. So Wolves on the attack here. 65 minutes in. Mueller with the pass that's intercepted. And this will probably be trouble for us here. We kind of slow up the attacker. So good defense there. Loftus cheek with some great defense uh, prolongs the attack there. Oh, <laughs> I saw the I saw him uh, flashing across the defenders in the box, and once he got the ball, I knew there was not much we could do about it. Catroni gets the goal. You see him flashing in from the left. Nice ball. I mean, he just turns and smashes it one time. And equalizes 1-1. So here we are, 84 minutes in. Wolves on the attack again. Oh, if I lose this game late, I'm going to be distraught. The pass is intercepted by Target. Gets it out to Traore. And he is basically, basically tackled. Like the NFL. And he gets, Willy, Willy Bolly gets the yellow card there. So here we are in the last few minutes. Wolves on the attack. Great defense by Douglas Louise. Gets it out to Wesley. Oh, I see the run. Harris gets it. Can he beat? Nope. Wesley making the run. Wesley gets in the box. Shoot scores in the last possible second. Wesley scores the game winner. And Villa's going to take the three points here. Huge, huge, huge three points for us here. Harris sets him up, puts the ball on a platter, and Wesley knocks it in. What a great finish and a great win for the Villa Boys.
That's Wesley's eighth goal in the Premier League. So I figured a whistle comes, and there it is. And Villa wins 2-1 over Wolves. Huge victory. Every game is a must win from here on out. Doolittle shakes hands with the Wolves coach, and he fist pumps there. Very close match, uh, statistically wise. Player of the match, of course, Patrick Harris. One goal and one assist. Always seems to get it done. So we look around the grounds. Um, Everton do lose, so maybe we have a chance to, to make a move further away from them uh, in the meantime, which would be really great. So we look around. Let's see what we got. $35 million in the transfer budget. That'll definitely increase once the season hits and then we stay up in the Premier League. So that'll probably be a ton of money. So we look at our uh, youth squad. Kind of everybody's doing their thing. We have a lot of goalkeepers, I just noticed. We definitely, we are, that would be like six goalkeepers, I believe. Three, we have two starting and one reserve, maybe, or something. So we're 88 rated on target. There's our next match, Arsenal. And then we take on Chelsea and Newcastle. So we're gonna take on Newcastle here. Let's see, uh, this Birch guy keeps aggravating me with this money talk being uh, that he's uh, 62 rated or whatever. Uh, he needs to focus on his soccer, on his football, and less about his salary. So we're in seventh place, 67 points. Chelsea is still ahead of us, and Arsenal are the top team so far this year. As you can see, 28, 4, and 3. Way above us, uh, Timu Werner is a man possessed lately. Uh, who would want Timu Werner on their team? So we're going with the 4 1 1. 4 4 1 1, sorry. Uh, Mauro Icardi is up front, and they go with the 4-2-3-1 with Timo Werner up top. This is a very good Arsenal team. Early on, 10 minutes in, Traore breaks free. No one's going to catch him. And we start the scoring off 1-0 Aston Villa. Could we do the unthinkable and upset Arsenal here at home? Oh, he has just so much speed, so much pace. Never going to catch him. Fourth goal of the year in the Premier League. And now Arsenal on the attack. 38 minutes in. We get the ball. Horrible pass. Ginduzzi to Martinelli. And they knock it in to equalize. After a terrible, terrible, terrible pass out the back. It looked like he tried to back heel it, maybe? To who? I'm not sure. And Martinelli with the slide just over Mueller's leg makes it 1 1. And Arsenal's manager is pumped, to say the least. And that's Martinelli's first goal of the year. No! And then getting doozy 61 minutes in with the foul on Loftus Cheek. Or was, no, it was Wesley, I believe. Nope, Loftus Cheek. Just slides out of nowhere, takes Loftus cheek down, and here we go. Leon Bailey with the penalty, shoots, and of course, it's saved as usual. It seems like no matter where we go, what direction, the keeper always knows what's gonna, where it's going to end up. Bailey with the corner. Oh, we grab it, keep it. Harris shoots, and way off target. So, a few minutes later, 67 minutes in. Traore with on the run on the attack. Can we make something happen here? Nice pass into Patrick Harris. Save Traore with the rebound. And Villa take the 2-1 lead. And Traore, of all people, has a brace today against Arsenal. And the guys celebrate that nice little rebound goal. I thought Harris would have had this for sure. Great stop. But he came too far out and could not recover to stop the Traore shot. 
it almost kind of it died and when it hit the ground it kind of just came to a screeching halt almost so 80 minutes in arsenal on the attack martinelli shoots and saved by Mueller. he has played well this last few months and there goes uh terrera getting doozy with the corner knocks it in punched out by Mueller. And here we are, 85 minutes in, getting doozy on the attack. Nice pass in to Nketiah, great block. Werner, whoo, that was dangerous there. Ball comes down. He blasted, but it's off target. So 90 minutes in, Gilbert into Louise. And Louise is mugged. For the foul. Will that be a booking? I don't know. Leon Bailey with the free kick. Still haven't made one of these. Shoots and off target. So we're right at the end. Three minutes and we take down Arsenal. 2 1. How big of a victory was that? We beat Wolves. We beat Arsenal. Now we have Chelsea and Newcastle standing in our way uh, this would be something so you can see we kind of not dominated but we did play we were the better team today against Arsenal player of the match Adama Traore, Traore uh, with the brace and he played well today so we'll head on over to the post match press conference some questions regarding the match uh, with two goals to secure a win, uh, how was Traore's uh, performance? It was great. Uh, we're not unbeaten. FIFA glitch needs to go. Uh, you, team scored the decisive goal. Uh, we were the better team today. And everybody's very happy. Thank you. No more questions. So Douglas Louise is happy that he got to play. And he did uh, make some nice plays there for us. And we are currently sitting 7th as we knock out some player training here. A few guys we'd like to see uh, come up, but it's going to take a while. So we're going to leave that here for this episode. Our next episode will be Chelsea and Newcastle. So as always, please subscribe to the channel. Please drop a like. Let's get this one to like 20 likes. That'd be amazing. So until next episode, you guys take care.